from Nationals Park in Washington, D.C. Diamond Dynasty Baseball on tap tonight. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on New Jersey. First pitch coming your way next. All right, ready to go here. Leading, Leading off, off for the Mickey Angels, Moniak. The right fielder. That pitch gets the inside corner, and we're underway. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Now the number two hitter, Taylor Ward. That's in there. That's strike one. Senga, in his second season, he features a four-seam fastball, a forkball, a cutter, a slider, and occasionally mixes in the slur. That one just misses. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Goes oh, down three. looking. And now batting, Mike Trout. There's a swing and a drive. Going gone. He'll touch them all. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1 0. Brandon yeah, Drury what? stands in now and watches strike one. That's inside. That's Swing and a miss. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Digging in, Buck O'Neill. No left fielder. And a pitch. And that one sliced foul. That's the third. Slides, but he can't come up with it. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. The shortstop takes the ball. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare. Only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. Runner at first with no outs here. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Here's Trout. One out. It's a pitch out. Nothing doing. And that's ball one. And the 1-0. -oh. No swing and a miss. And that's strike one. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. He's got it. And there's two away. So digging in, Chipper Jones. And he's the home run leader on this team, Siggy. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. O'Neill leads off first with two down to the inning. Swing and that's ripped towards right center. Makes the grab on the run. Back in Washington, D.C. And now it's switch hitting yeah. third baseman Luis Rangifo. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Popped up. Jones gets under it. Hauls it in for the out. One up, one down. Logan yeah. Ohapi batting with one down. Takes a strike. Yeah. That one finds the zone. And it's nothing in two. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Aaron Hicks at the plate. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. That's in there. And that's strike two. Oh and two. Just oh. misses with that one. Two out spaces empty. He goes down looking. Back here at Nationals Park, bottom of the second. Stepping in, the long ball threat, Rafael Palmero. 
And there's a foul ball. And the pitch. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. And it ties it up. It's 1 1. So up next, Jordan Westberg. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Ball. And that's outside. One and One and oh. Oh. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. Swing, and he breaks his back. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. Swing and a miss, strike one. Threw that fastball right oh, by him, one. slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The pitch. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes to gone. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Tied up here in the early going. Good eye that's on that that's spot. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. Swings through it, and that's it. And we're back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Zach Neto. Oh, yeah. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Trout on his horse. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. And there's one away. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders yeah. get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice and this, two. and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Okay. Towards first, Manzardo. And he takes it himself for the out. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the right fielder, Mickey Moniak. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the grab. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the catcher comes up to him, Patrick Bailey. And ball. takes low for ball one. 1-0. One -oh. Here comes a pitch. And That's another ball. ball. Down. That one three, way one. outside, and now three and one. Line drive, caught. Nice swing and good solid contact. Up all the smoke, but needed a little more lift to get into the outfield gap. Maybe a little more backspin. And a foul ball. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly with the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. And it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked. But that's a good approach paying off. Ripped, but it curls foul. And he deals. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's two away. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Over one so far. One Not ball, close no strike. with that one. Ball one. Yeah, big swing and a miss. Well, that's today's one one. style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Swings right. over the top of that one. Well, that's that stop right three. there. He threw it extremely well. I'm talking about just a ton of breaks. So good. Ah, that's strike. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the left fielder, Taylor Wood. There's a strike. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Butler makes the grab on the run. Here's Mike Trout. 
That one fouled off. One out, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. 0 and 2. Battling here as he fouls it away. That one inside. drifts inside. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. That two misses and the zone, and it's two and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident ah. that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Brandon Drury to the plate. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's a one. Right Quick. through there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and he'll make it safely. That's a double. Everything came together for him. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Well, got to pause on that thought. At bottom of the fourth, here's the third baseman, Chipper Jones. Cannon back to work. And that one fouled off. Well, these players, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're Swing, and this one's blasted. It's got a chance. Just missed it. So now here's the DH, Rafael Palmero. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the bat. Clearly didn't get it all. But with that wind blowing out to right, almost pushed that one over the wall. Whips it to first. And there's two away. So two down now. And here is Jordan Westberg. Right back to him on the mound. Gathers and throws to first. That ends the frame. Back in Washington, D.C. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. And he'll won. And a swing and a miss there. Oh, two. Swing and a high fly ball to left. O'Neill settles under this one, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying ball. closed. If he does that, one he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. He's got it. And a couple of quick outs. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. And that is that. Back here in Nationals Park. Bottom of the inning. And now the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. The pitch. Gets to it with a slide. Gathers and throws. And they get the out. Kyle Manzardo getting ready to hit. Liner caught it second. And here is Patrick Bailey. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you yeah. will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Breaking that ball, him. and that Take got him. Buck O'Neill digging in now. And there's the strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient this no one. Ball. First one strike. pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And that, that will end the inning. Top of the sixth inning, and here's the first baseman, Nolan Shanoel. That's in there. That's strike one. Ball one oh. there. Got him. And that's the first down. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Foul ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike. We go after him and finish him off. Three. Got him swinging. 
So digging in, Taylor Ward. And first offering is fouled off. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. And he's got a double. So impressive that he didn't get tied up or jammed on that pitch inside. Instead, good quick hands allowed him to get the ball to it, just shoot it up the middle of the field for that knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding one. And a ground ball to first. Could be extra bases. In comes the run from second. It's 2-1. And that's a two-out double. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it. And sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play. Well, that's a strikeout. Bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Ground ball up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. And now the center fielder, Mike Trout. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass, looking for the sack mark. A little out front there as he swings through. Oh, one. Fouled off. He was late. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that one in the air, center field. And there's one down. And now it's going to be Chipper Jones. Bounce to the right, and it That's goes foul just foul. foul. Ground ball to the middle. That's a base hit. Lindor around second, heading for third. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position, and just one out. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so great job there stepping up to the challenge. 112 miles per hour, the ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing, so that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. And that one is lifted in the air. Squeezes it. Both runners tagging. He'll score on the sack fly. We are tied at two. Jordan Westbrook digs in now. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job yeah. driving that run from third. He was late there. No strike one. one. The beauty of his skill set as a pitcher is the break in his stock doesn't go away when he's tired. I mean, his pitches always one seem to one. have life. Just doesn't matter if it's early or late. He doesn't make it easy for the batter. Right hander kicks deals. And now one and two. Well, he knows one, they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. New inning getting started. Now the third baseman, Luis Rangifo. That's in for a strike. 0 oh 1. Just no missed. Ball. Kicks and fires. On the ground, right side. Westberg. On to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Oh, in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two Swing runs. and a miss. 98 on the gun. Oh, two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The next that's offering up, misses. And the count is two and two. All tied up here in the top half of inning number seven. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. It's Aaron Hicks now. That All pitch right. in for a strike. Going one. Foul ball there. Backs and misses. It's a strikeout. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Jimmy Hergen. Now it's the right fielder, Lawrence Butler. I've been pulling all the stops now. Seven, eight, like the touchdown. Seven, eight, like the touchdown. 
And here it comes. Hergen in his third season. He throws a slurve, a slider, a sinker, a changeup, and he works in a four-seamer. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss hey, inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire one. for a new baseball. Back up the middle and a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage yeah, counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Okay. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Shanowell oh. over to second, and they get him easily at first. It's a double play. And now the switch hitting catcher, Patrick Bailey. Bailey. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Your ball, one strike. That's down one and one. in. Fought off foul. And that oh. one missing low. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. In the air to left center. Ward makes the grab. And that. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Matt Strong. And a pitch. Anthony right through there for a strike. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws for. And now the lefty fights that one away. Still one and two. And a base hit on the line. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. Yeah, it's just what? bigger than your own individual stats. Showed a willingness oh, to drive that pitch hey. the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He oh. let it get deep, took the barrel right One, to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive. Pick. Slider got him for strike three. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Mickey Monia, yeah. the next to hit for the Angels. And it's nope, one and one. Outside. Ball. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run, stands at first. This one trail, right center field. That one, hit for the fence, and gone! A two-run homer, and they take the lead. It's 4-2. To third, and it's off the bag. And that's a fair ball. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. Odd choice here. They intentionally walk him, and the runner now into scoring position. Drury, One ball, the next no to hit, takes outside. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field, pretty well struck. Grabs it right up against the wall. <laughs> Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Right yeah. through there for a strike. In the one dirt, one. kicks away from the catcher. And now, a single might score two. Ward, the runner at third. Ah. Trap on at second with two down. One ball, two strikes. Struck him out looking. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Robert Stevenson. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. He put a great swing on that ball. Took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything oh, you one. need to know about that swing. Pickoff throw. Hey. O'Neal back easily. 
Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The tying run at the plate. And down on strikes he goes. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. And here is Mike Trout. And that one fouled off. And now the 0 1. Out towards right center field. Moniak coming on. He's got it. That's out number two. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chipper Jones. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in. But he's in there easily. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get one himself a up. hit. Palmero stands in now, looks at that one inside. And fouled off. With the go-ahead run at the plate, here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. And the righty deals. That's the ball. Skips in and excellent work to corral that one. Could have been dangerous. So the tying run at second. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Righty to the plate. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. And he We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Emmanuel Classe. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better runs in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. O'Neal makes the catch. And there's one down. Hicks yeah. stands in now and watches strike one. That one out to right. Butler settles under it. And it's caught for the out. Kyron Paris, the next to hit for the Angels. One. That one at triple digits. 0 oh, and 1. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0 and 2. No ball, two strikes. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1 2 3. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Andrew Watts. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, though. We see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. Right-handed reliever. Fights it off, he'll see another. Headed towards the corner, on the move. Puts it away for the out. So up next, Lawrence Butler, one for three. And one the first up. offering is not close. Looking to get something going, this is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. And that's outside. Right side, hard hit. And he handles it himself for the out. So it's their last chance in this one. Kyle Mansardo will hit next. Sends it to center, and that's going to do it. And that is the ball game.
Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. And your final four.